Husky being introduced to this young man, and he's uh, taking him over now to the, uh, showing him where to go with the... Uh... All right, he's uh, talking now with some of the folks at... Uh... All right, he's describing now exactly where he wants him to jump, obviously. And... Uh... Ivan Putsky, the Polish strong man, exceptionally strong. All right. This young fellow having a bit of a problem trying to get uh, up on that uh, top ring rope, but he's up there now, all right. Uh, Putsky is uh, setting himself. That young fellow must weigh about 180 pounds. Ooh, right down in the middle of his stomach and uh, survived that. Uh, Ivan Putsky is surviving that without any trouble. Let's see if there are any more from out of the audience that want to... Uh... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bobby Duncan has come out. Bobby Duncan has come out and... Uh... He's obvious. Well, wait a minute. Bobby Duncan is uh, saying he wants to jump off on him, and uh, Putsky apparently agreeing to this. So now we had about a 180 pounder, and uh, Bobby Duncan uh, chips in at uh, right at 290. And so Putsky has agreed to this. And uh, Big Bobby Duncan, 6'5", 290 pounds. And so Putsky has agreed. So Duncan is... Oh! Duncan came down across his throat and not his stomach. Duncan came down with a knee. Came down with a knee into the throat of Ivan Putsky. He did not come down flat-footed. He had that knee extended right down across the throat. And Putsky... He's got some problems here. Uh, and Husky, Mr. Duncan, I don't, I find now that. That's, that's, that's what you call Polish power. Right there on his back, laying and begging for mercy. That's what happens to him, partner, when they interfere with the Texan. We're going to leave them all laying. I understood he was in a prison camp in World War II, him and his whole family. He's over here running around trying to take the United States apart. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Pollock. I played pro football with the St. Louis Cardinals, and I'm rated number one in the entire world in professional wrestling. And that's what's going to happen to them every time they cross me and Killer Cox's path. They're going to be laying, and they go back for mercy, and don't you forget it. Well... That was an obvious, obvious uh, situation, no question there. Ivan Putsky has been uh, uh, removed uh, from the uh, from the ring area, but it was uh, certainly obvious to me that Mr. Duncan came down very methodically and very deliberately uh, across his throat. And I, if I have any word as to the condition of Ivan Putsky before the program is over, I'll certainly get it to you. We'll be back in a moment.